a major fact of all six of the trigonometric functions are that they are what we call periodic functions. We'll see and talk about this more in the next chapter when we look at their graphs. But for now, suppose we have a number, uh, say pi over three, a number whose sine and cosine we can take. So here, making allowances for my not very great artistry is the unit circle, pi over three is here. And this point on the unit circle is one half because the cosine of this is one half, comma, the square root of three over two, because the sine of this is this fraction. So periodicity is the observation that although I've called this angle pi over three, a whole bunch of angles look just like this and will therefore have the same cosine and the same sine. Um, seven pi over three, for example. If you go all the way around the circle once, and then an additional pi over three, you wind up at the exact same place. So the cosine of seven pi over three, also one half, the sine of seven pi over three, Also, the square root of three over two. And this right here is a special case of the following fundamental fact. For any number k, the sine of k plus 2 pi is the sine of k. And the cosine of k plus 2 pi is the cosine of k. As a matter of fact, the secant of k plus 2 pi is the secant of k, and the co secant of k plus 2 pi is the cosecant of k. And we summarize this by saying these functions are periodic with period two pi. 
Now, if you look at this list, you'll notice that we're missing some stuff. We're missing the tangent, and we're missing the cotangent. And the, ca the tangent and the cotangent have similar but not identical properties. The tangent of k plus pi, notice that we don't have the two written here, the tangent of k plus pi is the same as the tangent of k, and the cotangent of k plus pi is always going to be the cotangent of k. We say these functions are periodic with a period of pi rather than two pi.